Well, sometimes when we look at a weather map, there's usually a, a very large storm system that has these identifiable frontal boundaries. We've got the low pressure area and a, a warm front to the south and a cold, a cold front to the south and all developing and moving across the country. But as we look at a warm front and what this really is doing in our atmosphere, first things first, let's set up the stage here. We've got this region of low pressure, the warm front extending out toward the east, the cold front extending out toward the south that we've been discussing that. And, and so associated with that storm system is a warm frontal boundary. There's cool air placed at ahead of the warm front and then behind it will be warm moist air. And so the warm air is going to be overtaking that cool air. This is how it looks somewhat in a three dimensional aspect. That warm air is moving and replacing the cool air, but it's usually warmer and lighter and less and more buoyant. So it will lift as it hits that cooler dense air. And so the gradual lift of that air creates condensation, creates clouds. And if the cold air in place is cold enough, that precipitation may form as a little bit of a wintry mix. Sometimes we see that in the wintertime as the warm front is to our south and the cold air is in place. Now, if the air is shallow near that frontal boundary, we could see uh, frozen precipitation make it all the way down toward the ground and also there may be a little bit of fog forming up near that warm frontal boundary. In our warm weather se se seasons, this warm front can be the location for some stronger showers and storms. Uh, this is also a point sometimes where we look for severe weather in really intense low pressure areas and right along that warm frontal boundary. So again, cool air is in place and the warm air is overtaking it in a gradual slope as compared to that cold front, which had the steeper slope that we showed you in that cold frontal uh, explanation. That's a look at warm fronts here from the Storm Team Weather School.